In the commercial gestational surrogacy industry, a lack of informed consent is rife. There's a terrible lack of um, uh, autonomy that workers face over their obstetric uh, experiences. Um, there are uh, uh, C-sections forced on people. There is um, wage skimming, underpayment, um, surveillance. Um, all kinds of uh, bad working conditions that gestational surrogates are, as workers, naming, um, resisting, making demands over. So why do I think that you can look at the gestational surrogacy industry, this place sort of dedicated to, you know, the most um, extreme expressions of proprietarian uh, biogenetic kinship? Um, it's because the workers in that industry have experience of doing unpaid and paid pregnancy um, and they have things to say about the difference or rather the lack of a difference between those two things. To, to think back to the demands of lesbian feminists, black Marxist feminists, queer feminists from the 80s who were asserting things like um, all children um, belong to everyone. Or in the phrase of the sisterhood of black single mothers, uh, children won't belong to patriarchy in the future and they won't belong to us either. They will belong only to themselves. It's kind of a question of squinting at this um, dystopia to think about what could come beyond it if we took some of the sort of um, cracks and fissures in its own logic really seriously and tried to sort of um, peek through to uh, sort of radically um, collectivized, pluralized, communized uh, gestational reality to come.